Now, another concern for Americans is the economy, their money. Yes, and for most Americans, their primary investment is their 401k account. Yeah, I had a chance to speak with a financial expert, Matt Logan, today about this. We kind of broke it down into three different groups. So let's start with those in the middle to late years of their career. They're usually about 10 to 15 years from retirement. Matt says they're starting to worry, but what should they do, though? Listen to what he had to say. If you're 10 years from retirement, if you have the opportunity to to raise what you're putting into your 401k, the idea is buying low and selling high and things have gone on sale really quick. So there's some great quality companies out there that are opportunities for the long haul. It's interesting because he said that investing is counterintuitive because your natural thing would be to open, pull him back, not mm -hmm. doing anything. Right. But that's the exact opposite of what you should be doing, he says. All right, so that, now let's, uh, let's talk to you about uh, some of these, the, the deals that he was talking about. Some of the larger companies that he mentioned with us, and we're talking about Apple and some of the big ones, um, even Boeing, way down. Um, those are basically um, investments right now, kind of gold, gold nuggets, he was that's saying. Right. Now, we'll move to people within five years of retirement. So if you're very close, obviously they might be a little panicked right now. This answer, surprised me. He talked about how a lot of 401k plans have age-based programs where the investments change as you get closer to retirement. And he said they can help. Take a listen. You might find that your retirement accounts didn't go down quite as bad as you thought because you have a portion of bonds likely in that portfolio. So the government drops interest rates immediately trying to help the economy float and that raises the value of the bonds in your portfolio. So even though your stocks may have gone down, you, you may have seen a rise in your bonds and your portfolio might be performing a little better than you, you think. Which that was surprising to me because obviously the older folks are getting close to retirement. They're more concerned with right. the hit that they're taking in the short term. Lastly, the younger sector of the workforce for that group, and that's folks that are maybe only five to ten years into their career, he said it's time to jump on the gravy train. Listen. For younger people, especially those who may have never invested, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. This is your time that you've been missing this opportunity saying, I shoulda, coulda, woulda. We had a great year in the market last year. Things have pulled way back. This is your time to invest. That's fascinating because go. that's the last thing I would consider doing right now. He said that you may not, may, not sure, may not ever see deals like this again in our lifetime, that the stock prices would be so low. Now's the time to get in buying low, selling high. You know, that's how it works. And also get a financial planner involved if you have any questions too, because as I can imagine, if you aren't familiar with the stock market, you don't know what to buy. That's right. Some advice could, could be beneficial. Yeah, I know that's on a lot of people's mind right now and watching the stock numbers, you know, in real time, that big board when it comes mm -hmm. up on our television. So it's definitely top of mind.